Hey friends, so today I'm going to be organizing my spice drawer. <clears throat> I ordered some spice jars from Zulily. I haven't opened them yet, but my plan is to take all my existing spices in my spice drawer and um, put them in bottles, label the bottles, and just have a much more organized spice drawer. Okay, so here is the current state of my spice drawer. I have a lot of these I have a lot of these big uh, types of things, like big spices that I don't know that I'm going to repackage, but they need organization. But I have also, you know, a lot of random spice jars, um, all in different size bottles. It's a mess. And trying to find anything while you're cooking can be ridiculous. I'm lucky that I have this really deep drawer to put all my spices in. Um, but the organization of this drawer is lacking. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to work on this and try to get it in tip top shape. Okay. I think I'm going to need a little coffee before we get started because this is going to be a big job. All right. So, um, let's see what's in these boxes. I ordered these a long time ago and I completely forgot what they look like, so we'll see how that happens. Um, you know, if you order from Zulily, I love Zulily for like buying clothes and stuff, but you don't usually get um, a shipment until about a month later. Um, and that is why I have forgotten what's in these boxes. So, here we go. It looks like they've come, they've got these little labels, and these are chalkboard labels. Um, and I have a, a plan for that. And here are all the jars. So there are 12 jars in each box. And they look like this. And they have a nice little spice to shake the spices out right there. Um, and then we can even take this off to fill them. And I do have a plan for that. I've got these little bad boys that will be able to help me do it in a clean way, not get make a complete mess out of things. All right, so the next thing, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull out all my spices and um, clean out the drawer. Okay, so now to clean out the drawer, I'm going to spray it with some Method Anti-Back. I love this Method Cleaner, by the way. It's my favorite cleaner to use. This is a little stronger than the regular Method Cleaners, um, but I think this will work well for this drawer. So I'm just gonna spray everything. Use a paper towel to clean it out. We just moved into our house only like eight months ago, so it's ridiculous that it's this dirty already. I'm back the next day and I actually got a helper to help me finish this job. I got interrupted yesterday. Someone came to my door. So I'm going to uh, get Garrett's help. This is my son Garrett from college. Say hey Garrett. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be continuing this job. So just as a reminder what I've got here, I've got all my spices laid out here on the counter and I've uh, purchased a box of spice jars 
Um, I have a couple ideas. These spice jars come with these labels right here. Um, these are like chalkboard labels. I've got chalkboard markers. Um, so my plan will be, let's see how this works out, to label the first letter of the spice like O for oregano. Um, and then I've got my handy dandy label maker here and we'll just make labels for the front of the jars. All right, so we're gonna start with oregano. You wanna help me open that yeah. up? Take the front top off there. And I'll open this up. Oh dear, I'm making a mess. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I don't think this is working very well, is it? Probably not. I think you put a little too much in there. Yeah. <laughs> Just shake it in there. We're having a moment here. All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little more? No, that's good. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Oregano. Now we got a sticker on the top. Not exactly centered. Oh. All right, then we're gonna take the label maker here. I've had this thing for years. Is it A-N-O? O-R-E-G-A-N-O, yeah. Then we print. If I could get the sticker off. So we've got the top label though and a nice little label there. All right, you ready to do the rest of them? Yeah. All right, so me and Garrett are gonna do the rest of them and hopefully we'll get through this in less than two hours. <laughs> chili powder we've got brown gravy which looks like we need some more of this by the way this brown gravy mix is the bomb we've got dehydrated chopped onions which are pretty good if you're feeling lazy dehydrated bell peppers cayenne pepper Got some Old Bay seasoning and some Creole seasoning and some seasoning blend and of course 
Gotta have the popcorn flavoring. This white cheddar one is my favorite. Whoops. All right. It's going backwards? Like so the... Is so the like that way? Yeah. Yeah. Starting A, B, C. When you look in here, you wouldn't oh. want to go backwards. Let's go down that way. It's okay. Don't forget the O. There you go. There's an O back there. Oh. That's, That's some onion powder and oregano. There's more. You want more a few bay leaves? Oh, we forgot to do bay leaves, huh? Let me just put those. We'll in. just put these in here. Like in the back, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is awesome. All right, so thank you guys for joining me. I am so happy with the spice shorts. It's gonna be easy to find spices now. Garrett, you want to say bye? <laughs> Thanks um, for helping, Garrett. Yeah, no problem. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.